What's up guys, my name is Pro and get ready to blaze your trail in Leagues 4 Trailblazer Reloaded. Launching on Wednesday, November 15th, no need to waste your time with Fluff, we've got some absolutely amazing updates to cover, so let's dive right in. So what's Trailblazer Reloaded? It's like that feeling whenever you're about to poop your pants and you make it to the bathroom just in time, but this time, it's even more. This is my first Trailblazer League, so I'm going to be learning and sharing all that I can with you guys to help make your leagues one that you won't forget and mine. Leagues are temporary game modes in Old School RuneScape that take place on separate servers than the main game. And in Trailblazer Reloaded, you're not just a player, you're a sweaty nerd. You're going to earn points by completing tasks and challenges to unlock new regions to explore. Your own adventure in Gilinor, again, but in a new way this time. Kind of. No, it is a new way, it's just completely different. You'll have boosted XP rates to breeze through the early game, and a bunch of epic relics that make you feel invincible. This year, like every year, you will be competing against each other on the league's leaderboards, but this year, there will be a set number of points that you have to get to to get to a tier and get those rewards. In the past, it was a percentage that you had to get into, so you had to be the top like 1%, 5%, 10% to get to a certain tier. But this year, you just have to get a certain number of points, and then you're automatically in that tier and you get the reward. If you've been away from Old School RuneScape for a while, this is the perfect time for you to jump back in, get some friends together, and enjoy those boosted XP and drop rates as you work your way up to different bosses and regions. Alright, so you're going to start in Lumbridge with a small part of the map unlock, Mist Island and Karamja, and you earn points by completing tasks to unlock more regions, including Karind and Kebos this time. These choices are permanent, so choose wisely, forge your unique path, pick your favorite regions, choose cool relics, and take on challenges you can't do in the main game. It's all about having fun. It's all about making your old school RuneScape journey special. These unlocked areas include the Wilderness, the Firminic Isles, Asgarnia, Mortania, Kandoran Desert, Kandoran, Tarawan, and Karind in Kebos. You can respawn only in the areas that you've unlocked. Everyone is going to be an Iron Man, meaning no trading or grand exchange using. Shop stocks will not decrease, and you start with a 5 times XP rates, which can increase further with the Relic Tiers. The Relic Tiers go up to 7, so be ready for some crazy XP rates and buffs, because you're going to get a bunch of those. Your character starts with the basic stats from Tutorial Island, and these are the stats. We have Level 3 Herblore, Level 10 Agility, and Level 5 Runecrafting. You also get a free Draven Staff to access Xenaris. Certain quests and diary tasks requiring inaccessible areas will be automatically unlocked, like Druidic Ritual or Lost City. Completing tasks earn you League Points, which you can use to unlock Relics and Rewards. Tasks vary in difficulty, categorized from Easy to Master. New regions unlock based on tasks completed, not points. Relics provide buffs and can be unlocked with League Points. They offer XP boosts, combat buffs, luck as far as like drop rates and stuff, that's what luck means, and skill buffs. There are 7 Relic tiers in Trailblazer Reloaded, each with a passive buff. So I would say you're just going to have a lot of fun mixing and matching stuff and just really nerding out on this leagues. Accumulated points in leagues can be spent in leagues reward shop, offering unique cosmetics from past and current leagues. These rules make Trailblazer Reloaded a unique and challenging experience. And who doesn't love getting that fatty dopamine hit? Earn points during the league to spend in the league reward shop, you can grab unique cosmetics like the Trailblazer Reloaded outfit. I would not miss out on these outfits or the rewards. They're really all amazing. Even if you have a lot to do in the main game like I do, it's nice to just stop and start leaks. It doesn't come around very often. Plus the outfits and all the ornament kits and the spell animations, they're just really, really cool. They're very fiery 
They're really cool. <laughs> but that's not all. You can snag the exclusive Dragon Rank Trophy, showcasing your dedication. These trophies even have a unique emote, so you can flex your achievements. And if you're tired of the same old home teleport animation, fly off like a rocket because it really is like a rocket. You're just boosting off with fire with the Trailblazer Reloaded home teleport animation. It's like telling the world, I have no life. Even more rewards you will be able to purchase with your points is the Den's Bulwark Ornament Kit and the Toxic Blowpipe Ornament Kit. I actually think these look really cool as well. They look super, I mean, they look absolutely amazing. The, the original looks really good, but these look super, super good. I actually would be really disappointed if I couldn't get these for some reason. I hope all goes well and I can just be a hermit in my room for at least like a month. I'm not one to get that hype for cosmetics, but it's old school and they're really cool. So I'm hype. And you know what? If you want to pimp out your player-owned house, the Rejuvenation Pool Ornament Kit adds a touch of class in your home. I wouldn't even know if I would call it class. It's more like just fire. It turns your Rejuvenation Pool into a fire pool and it is absolutely awesome. They haven't come out with the actual animation. It's still like in a picture form, but it looks really good. So your adventures in Gilinor feel more satisfying whenever you teleport home and you see your fire pool. You just teleport to your house, stick your hands and face in the fire, then like magic, you forget you were ever tired and you just burn. Also, we have a Trailblazer Reloaded Alchemy animation and Vengeance animation. These are also super good and clean looking animations I would love to have. Want to get a head start on your strategy for Trailblazer? Well... Not right now. I will be posting more in the future. Whenever it gets closer to November 15th, we're going to have strategies. We're going to have me playing. It's going to be a really good time. It's going to be a lot of content. So mark your calendars for November 15th, and we will see you in the game. Mm -hmm.